What if your tires didn't need air ever? And with these airless tires, your vehicle could travel anywhere. That's what a team of researchers is working on in Ohio. The team is a partnership between NASA's Glenn Research Center and the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. They needed um, hardware to, to roll. We make hardware that rolls in every form, and so I think it's a perfect marriage between two organizations. Together, they're creating tires for new lunar rovers that NASA will one day use on the moon. To get started, they went back to the source, the engineers who worked on the first lunar tires. Along with the Apollo-era engineers, they crafted 12 exact replicates based on the original design and then tested them. That experience laid the groundwork for what they had to do next. Because of different requirements, the team now needed to make significant changes. If we have new NASA vehicles, which are going to be 10 times heavier than the original lunar roving vehicle, then can we scale up the wire tire design to meet that need? And if our new need is to travel 2,000 kilometers or 10,000 kilometers on the moon versus 120 kilometers in Apollo, can we make the tire last? Seeing real possibilities in the project, Glenn's Innovative Partnerships Program awarded the team with seed funding. The reason this partnership appealed to me is because, first off, everyone understands it. What Vivek and his team was able to do was to prove that really a very small amount of money was able to advance the level of this technology. We sort of started in a way from ground zero because the initial tire, the, the one that was, that's on the moon now, is what's called a bias ply where you have a, a weave of angled wires. The tire progressed from wires and cables to springs. By using an ingenious weaving process, they manufacture each tire by hand. The wire spring design means no flat tires, and it will help move the rovers over the moon's sandy, rocky, uneven surface. Each version of the tires has been tested with Glenn's Simulated Lunar Operations Laboratory, or Slope Lab. The unique feature of the Slope Lab is that the terrain will deform the same way as it would on the moon. So driving on the terrain here will give you an idea of the traction that you can develop on the moon and the power that's going to be consumed due to deforming the terrain itself and each version has improved. That's where we are today with uh, a product that can carry, it has low carrying capacity, and we believe it's gonna have the durability for NASA and beyond. The tires got a real workout on a lunar truck simulator at Johnson Space Center's rock yard. Even going through very rocky terrain with some minimal damage, the tires still perform successfully. Their spring design contoured over rocks allowing the vehicle to remain stable. And unlike a traditional tire, this tire won't rob energy from the vehicle. This tire, all the ener almost all of the energy comes right back. It's like a super ball. When you drop it, it bounces right almost back to where it started before. And all that energy is returned back to the road. And that relates into fuel economy. Both NASA and Goodyear see a lot of potential for the new unique tire design on the moon and here on Earth.